Hey, what's up, Pisces? This is Soul. And Pisces, we're going to take a look at your energies for this week, starting uh, December 4th and ending December 10th. 20, oops, 20, um, two cards popped out here. We're going to use these cards here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we got the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and the Hermit. Um, yeah, December 4th starting and ending December 10th, 2023. Pisces, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the Spellcaster's Tarot to deliver your message. messages. We're just going to cleanse the energy from Dawn Aquarius' uh, messages, and then we're going to begin. And as you've seen as I was shuffling, two cards popped out. So um, whenever those cards pop out and they're in the upright position or face, face up position, they're meant for you. Um, for somebody, they're meant for somebody. <clears throat> anyway, the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's the yes answer to all romantic questions. It's not an even number of cups, but it's the card that represents a lot of love, emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment. And whenever the Nine of Cups is present in your spread, whatever it is that you're wishing for, because it is the wish fulfillment card, may be realized this week. I equate the Nine of Cups with that of the Star card. So again, uh, hopes, wishes, and dreams of manifestation. And then um, social media, social networking. The Major Arcana, the Hermit, means introspection. Some of you may be doing some introspection this week. Detaching your energies, um, you know, momentarily from situations, from persons. You know, just trying to, you know, spend some time alone. It could be just reading a book. Uh, meditating, or you might have some sort of, you know, soul searching to do. It all depends on what's going on with you and your situation. You're not going to stay in this um, element too long because uh, it's usually temporary. And normally, when you break away um, for a minute and then you, you know, come back, then you usually, if you were thinking about something, usually find the answers to whatever it is that you needed to seek. All right, so here we go, uh, Pisces. We're going to start. We have the Four of Swords. So this is rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. Some of you may be planning future trips. This is the card that I always regard as uh, codependency. So you definitely need to detach your energies um, from your... Take a day off from work if you can, you know. Spend some time by yourself. You got the Major Arcana, the Hermit, to give you validation if you need to spend a moment alone. Uh, and recapturing, reclaiming your, um, you know, independence and your happiness, right? So you want to look at this level of uh, swords here because if things increase, then, you know, whatever it is that you may be potentially stressing out about may be, you know, further. So you don't want to do that. So here we are giving you the indication that you need to take a break for whatever it is that you may have been um, building up some stress over, and uh, now it's time for you to uh, rest about it. Take something off your mind and just, you know, do something um, not regarding whatever it is that's occupying your mind and do something that's, you know, for you. That's going to make you happy. Next up, we have the, uh, oh, Pisces, we got your own energy, the moon in the reverse position. Wow. So I only reversed 10 cards here and the moon just happened to be one of them. So in the reverse position of the moon, there is a cycle of energy that's still waiting to close out for a Pisces. And then, you know, once that cycle closes out, then a new cycle is going to open up. Now, you guys are the most intuitive uh, signs of the Zodiac, you know, Cancer's up there with you. And also Scorpio, all the water signs are intuitive, but you are the most intuitive. So you may be going through something uh, this week that you're not trusting yourself intuitively, okay? Uh, normally, that's the uh, energy of your moon here. When it's in the upright, it's all about having to, um, you know, uh, trust the process and your intuition is here to help guide you and stuff. So something may be going on this week where you may not be trusting yourself um, in terms of guidance. All right. So be very, very careful here. And then, you know, because we are part of the, and I say we because I'm cancer, we are part of the uh, cups energy. So when the moon is turned over, we got to be careful also too of our emotional. Because um, I know I always tell you guys when it's in the upright to make sure you're striking a balance. You don't want to be too high because the moon has a tendency to be tricky and we don't want to be too low. When the 
Moon is in the reverse, however. There's uncontrolled, yeah, uncontrollable emotional stuff that could occur. And I'm talking about in forms of, um, you know, tears and stuff, crying over a situation, just becoming very emotional over something. All right. So I hope that's not the case, Pisces. But, you know, I'm reading it to you as I feel that could be the indication of the reason why the moon is in the reverse position, along with not trusting your own intuition. Okay. Next up, we have the Empress card. Pay attention to all the major arcanas that show up in your spread. Well, of course, this is a more positive card here. It's about beauty. It's about, uh, you know, pregnancy news, childbirth. It's about um, something new, growing, developing, expanding. Uh, Mother Nature. So some of you may be just enjoying um, some time outdoors, enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty. Or this could be a week where, you know, you um, are taking care of your own inner beauty, outer beauty. Maybe there's hair appointments, nail salon appointments, exercising more or modifications in diet, whatever it is that's going to make you feel better. That is the um, Emperance card. It does represent relationships as well. But feeling that peace, feeling your own love and sense of worth um, is favored here by the Emperance card. Then we have the Six of Cups um, going down rem <laughs> yeah, memory lane. Uh, thinking of um, childhood experiences or connections. Somebody that you may have been linked to uh, from your past may be thinking of you on a highly emotional level here. OK, and may, you know, reach out. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. And this could also be somebody that um, you were linked with romantically or could have had an interest in or they may have, an, you know, had an interest in you. But they may reach out uh, and um, try to catch up or whatnot. This is good stuff. Good emotional energy because it's an even number of cups. Then we have the major arcana, the fool for you, Pisces. Take that leap of faith, leave the fear behind. Remember I said the moon, your own energy is in the reverse position, not trusting your uh, energies here. So maybe there's something that you got going on that you want to um, implement, or, but there, you know, there's some sort of fear that's uh, keeping you from doing that, or there's some sort of hesitancy. Well, the fool shows up to say, just drop all of that. Let the universe uh, support you in terms of whatever it is that you want to, uh, you know, enact or come about in your life. Now, that could be those Pisces who already have things that are planned and maybe, you know, you want to do this. Say maybe you want to, just as an example, you want to change jobs, but you're fearful of changing jobs because you don't know if that new job is going to be the best job for you or better for you. Um, but it could also be, you know, anything that's going on for the other Pisces. You don't have to do anything because I always read this fool as an aspect of two things. You know, either you have something that's lined up, ready to do it, but you still are holding on to some sort of hesitancy or fear. And this card always tells you to go ahead and take that leap of faith. Let the universe support you or you don't do anything or you don't have anything planned or lined up. And there's still an aspect of something new that may occur for you this week. A new beginning. Then we have the death card, major arcana. So when the death card, it never physically denotes death, um, Pisces. It just means that it's a major life transformation. Something has to end and something has to begin. Only you know what that is. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the death card. Um, some sort of closure needs to take place in order for something new to open up. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. There's the card of uh, gift giving or charity. So you could be giving a gift to someone or you could be the receptor of a gift. This could still be a moderate pay raise for others. Also, there could be an apology that may be forthcoming too. If there was some sort of slight that was given to you by, you know, someone. I apologize if y'all hear my holiday jazz music in the background, but I was just thinking about uh, the Six of Pentacles being underneath the moon in reverse. I thought maybe I had uh, another message, but I don't. Anyway, you have the Two of Cups that follows that Six of Pentacles, and this is all about romance. This is about Pisces who are already partnered 
um, and you're enjoying each other's company. This is it still would be new connections that could come forth for the single Pisces out there, sharing like mindedness, spending quality time with each other. First dates, first invitations out. What you give is what you're going to get back. Then we have the two of wands. You're waiting for something. OK, you're waiting for something or someone. This is my only timing card. So whatever it is or whoever it is that you're waiting for could arrive in two days or a two week period of time. Also, um, this energy is regarded as something slow and uh, stagnant. So something slow or could be slow moving or stagnating for you. Now, that could be a relationship that could be a project. Uh, for others, it's the ideals of um, information that may be coming to you for future projects and whatnot, but you may not have all the material or resources to uh, execute. And so you're just at the planning stage, the waiting stage. Final card here for you is the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is emotional disappointment or loss. It may not be yours. It could be a family member. It could be a child of yours. It could be a romantic partner. It could also be a friend. Temporary energies, if it does express itself, uh, but there is some sort of disappointment, if it doesn't impact you personally, then you'll find out about it impacting somebody else that you know. Then the five of wands is in your shadow. This is the projection of energy coming on to you by others, so don't get yourself engaged in any petty fights or arguments. It's their energy, Pisces, not yours. Some of you may be just feeling uh, restless, this week as well, that too shall pass. Okay. Four of Wands is the happiness card. So this is the form of celebrations. Uh, someone could be getting married here. Um, also, someone could be deciding to, um, you know, take their relationship a step further by moving in. Also, too, you may not be trusting yourself. <laughs> That's why the moon is here. In reverse. So it could be an engagement, it could be moving in, it could be, you know, relocating, wanting to relocate to a different area, but you're not sure, you're not certain, uh, purchasing a home, you're not sure and you're certain about that. It doesn't necessarily always have to relate to a purchase of a home. It could be uh, a new apartment, condo, townhouse in another area in terms of relocation. But this is always the shared happiness with others inside a structure of a building. So celebrations of all kinds fall underneath this four wands. Birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, of course, and so forth. All right, last card here is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is for you. Could be a, um, of course, you're working hard for that money. This could still be a pay raise. And then in this case here for uh, some Pisces, there's other options that may open up uh, to you this week and other areas all right so what fell out was the hermit and the nine of cups that i talked about and this is your reading for this week you know simply put it looks pretty good uh, i think the most important thing to remember and to focus on not solely but the moon your own energy which is you know in the reverse position there's something that may be going on here pisces this week that you're not giving yourself enough credit for or there's not enough certainty, okay? But regardless, it's just me uh, interpreting the cards. Please take what works for you. Leave the rest alone. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. You guys have a safe, great week ahead. Keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.